Abdominal abscesses may form below the diaphragm, in the middle of the abdomen, in the pelvis, or behind the abdominal cavity. Abscesses also may form in or around any abdominal organ, such as the kidneys, spleen, pancreas, or liver, or in the prostate gland. Untreated abscesses can grow and damage nearby blood vessels and organs. Sometimes, bacteria enter the bloodstream, sepsis, and spread to distant organs and tissues. Such spread can be fatal. More common causes of abdominal abscesses involve spread of infection or inflammation caused by conditions such as appendicitis, diverticulitis, Crohn disease, pancreatitis, or pelvic inflammatory disease. Sometimes, abdominal abscesses are caused by perforation of the intestine due to cancer, ulcer, or injury, and sometimes abscesses form after injury to the abdomen or after surgery on the abdomen. Specific symptoms of abdominal abscesses depend on the location of the abscess, but most people have constant discomfort or pain, feel generally sick, malaise, and often have a fever. Other symptoms include nausea, loss of appetite, and weight loss. Treatment of abdominal abscesses. Almost all abdominal abscesses need to be drained of pus, either by surgery or by a needle and a small flexible tube, catheter. To guide the placement of the needle and catheter, a doctor uses CT or ultrasound scanning. Once the doctor is sure the needle and catheter have reached the abscess, the needle is taken out but the catheter is left in place. The pus drains out through the catheter, usually over several days to weeks. Antibiotics are usually used in addition to drainage to prevent the infection from spreading and to help completely eliminate the infection. Laboratory analysis of the pus identifies the infecting organism so that the most effective antibiotic can be selected. It is uncommon for antibiotics to cure an abscess without drainage.